back around and went home. <laughs> hey, I know uh, Waffles turned right back around and went home. He did not, he did not purchase anything in the walk. Uh, good morning. This is what it looks like today. If you're heading out the door, we're going to see temperatures make it right back up to about 71 degrees at 9 o'clock in the morning. We'll see those temperatures stay in the 70s, 76 to 77 all the way through the late morning into the early afternoon. So we are going to see some warming take place yet again today, but not as hot as yesterday by about a degree, a whole degree cooler today. Over into the desert communities, Victorville, you're going to see still excessive heat warnings along with the Coachella Valley. That'll continue through 8 o'clock tonight. We're still looking at triple digit heat out there. Over in downtown Los Angeles, you can get up to about 80. It looks like sunshine in the mountains just looks really nice. It's been really pretty. And then also getting out towards our high desert areas, those temperatures around 96 degrees. Yeah, we'll boring. have more coming like, up this is a little bit. Yeah, living in the best life ever. <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah, I know. They're, they're really sweet looking, though. Uh, as we head out the door, good morning, everybody. We're back to about uh, 82 degrees yesterday. The average is 80, so we're still above average for this time of year, but only by about 2 degrees. Uh, we are going to get back and closer to average today, along with tomorrow. And this is what it looks like right now over in to some of our high desert spots are no longer dealing with that. And then this morning we have some cloud coverage along the coastline, but most of that's going to be retreating. And so we're back to sunny skies very early on, even though we have a few upper level clouds right now this morning, a little haze out there too. We're back to about 72 degrees into Palmdale, 64 degrees into Wrightwood at 65 into Ontario. Temperatures in Van Nuys about 65 and 64 degrees into Los Angeles here today. And it's going to be a little cooling trend getting us back into the 60s. We were in the 70s earlier in the week. So now those overnight lows are recovering a little bit better. Hopefully that means you're not having to deal with the air conditioning overnight. 80 degrees over into areas of Los Angeles here today. Tomorrow, the same goes. And then we're going to warm things up. By Saturday, it's 82. By Sunday, we're going to warm it up even more. 87 degrees expected for L.A. And that looks like uh, where we're going to top out for this week, at least the next seven days. And it looks like it's just going to be a nice week. Nice, warm week here. If you're heading out towards the valleys in Lenin Empire, it's 89. 90 on your Saturday. Uh, it is going to be nice weather for this weekend. I would say even at the coastline, we're going to get a little bit warmer by Sunday. 78 degrees, so it's 97 along with tomorrow. 99 on Saturday, 101 Sunday, and we have triple digits continuing Monday and Tuesday. Before I let you go, here's a look at some more high temperatures brought to you by your Southern California Chevy dealers. The way through just about 8 o'clock, and it's the 70s by 9. We're going to keep that going upward, 77 by the time we're heading into your afternoon. So lunchtime, we're warming things up almost the 80s. We'll have more coming up in the full forecast in a little bit. Stay with us. Anna, for the most part, it's just kind of picking up in all the typical spots. It's on the 5 southbound, and we do have uh, quite a bit of lanes that are warning. You do have a couple lanes to get through, though, but just know you are going to hit a bit of a backup, and we don't know when those lanes will reopen. Scott Rife up in Air 7 HD with another. Don't know when they'll have these lanes reopen, but the number three through six lanes are shut down right at 17th Street, and you can see that backup right before you hit the 22 connect. All right, we will turn things over to Scott Rife up in Air it's on the five southbound. We had a pedestrian that was hit earlier, and we have the number three through six lanes that are blocked right at 17th Street. And you can see the D5, so just know that it is going to be a little slow through that area for probably quite some time. We'll have another check in just a little bit. John, Rachel, I'll send it back to you. Probably be a bit of a mess here for quite some time. We don't know when they're planning on having these lanes reopen. The number three through six lanes are blocked off right at 17th Street, and so it's right before you hit that twin connector, and everything is looking okay, moving smoothly here. John, Rachel, I'll send it back to you. Thanks, Brianna.